love iced teas. It's like on a hot summer day when it's just like you're too fucking hot to eat, but you want something, you have like a refreshing cold pop. Smokable, we're back baby. But this time, we got a summer edition. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to make watermelon lemon kush pops. All right, you need some watermelon slices. I cut down the time. You should already know how to cut a watermelon. You're an adult. Three cups of milk, one and a half cups of cream, two bowls, just because you need to go ahead and sort things out, a frying pan, and a couple strainers as well. Your molds for your ices, and bam, you need like an eighth of weed, depending on how strong you want it. I think an eighth is good for this amount. My man, the blender right here, and just a positive attitude. We're gonna start with our can of milk. I'm gonna go ahead and put the watermelon to the side right now. Three cups of whole milk. I got about one and a half cups of cream right here as well. I got the illest cotton mouth right now. Add an eighth of the weed. Can I get some water? My mouth is mad dry right now. You're gonna go ahead and put a couple of inches of water into your pan. And you wanna make sure that you peep that and make sure that that's always simmering and it doesn't evaporate. We need water into that. You know what I'm saying? So this is a slow process. We're gonna have this on a simmer for about two to three hours. Do not go past three hours because then that's it. You're wasting weed. It doesn't even work anymore. Then the next step, we're gonna go ahead and place our watermelon chunks into the blender. This is crazy. I think this is enough. And baby boys and baby girls, it's time to grind this shit. Red is my favorite color, red is my favorite flavor. Maybe one day I can make a business out of this, you know? We got the dogs barking in the back, baby. I think the sound of a dog is a very summer sound. Now we have our watermelon chunks. They grind it up. We gotta strain it, and we gotta get a lot of this juice out of here, right? So we're just pouring that in there for now. <sighs> I've been smoking way too much weed. <sighs> nah, I feel good. All right, and the good thing about this is the fact that like, you could save this juice for later. You have like fresh mixer for your vodka when you wanna go ahead and have some drinks. Always have paper towels on deck. This is the essence of life. Things get messy sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Our right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and cut up a lemon. I'm only gonna use half of it because the strain that we're using is lemon kush, and also I just don't like to add too much citrus to milk. It's good to have can of milk already made, and thankfully I already have some like that's in the fridge already so that we can use for our process now. Always use very cold milk when you're gonna go ahead and combine it with fruits. Can you pass me the can of milk? Thank you so much. So we just need one cup of can of milk, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my watermelon pulp in the bowl. This is, has a couple seeds, unfortunately, but it's fine. You spit them out. Add a little tiny bit of honey for flavor as well. I'm gonna shake it up. So you're gonna pour it into the mold. We got some chunks in there. It's gonna be a fucking textured treat. All right, so the <laughs> go ahead and cover up your popsicles. And then the next step is obviously to go ahead and put them in a freezer and let them freeze for as long as ices and creamsicles freeze, right? I already had a couple of them in the freezer, so let me present to you my little pop, baby, look at this. Watermelon kush pop. But I know I got mad weed in here, so I know this is gonna be potente. It's gonna be potent, baby. This shit tastes good. Wow, this was... You want some? Ice, ice, baby. Can we say that? Ding, 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 ding.